few days of posting this first tutorial a subscriber reached out and said thanks for teaching us freely because i have already paid for this lesson so some days later i decided to reach out to her for her to teach me how she was taught because what i shared with you is something that i imagined yeah i i didn't get a clearer picture but i sat down and thought of how to go about it so since she has also been taught by another person i reached out to her and adia penna was all out she spent so much time on me on phone and here we are i told her that once she teaches me i'm going to bring it out here so we all learn and so in the comment section thank her for us i'm using 0.6 of the fishing line i usually buy 0.6 or 0.7 and i buy the bigger size i also have plates a scissors and some bees the brown paper on the plate is glued so i'm not going to remove everything outrightly i'll be removing them as i bid and when i complete the project i'll peel off the whole thing i'm going to weave a chain of 32 bees so it's going to be 32 by two in all i have slain down three beads so i'm going to add the fourth one of course by nothing i have already shared a video my last upload was about why you should be knotting the advantages of knotting when using sugar beads or bigger beads if you have not seen that video i'm going to link it in the description for your reference I want to take this opportunity to appreciate you all for your genuine love towards this platform. If today is your first time here, this is Versatile Number GH. Yes, I changed the name to correspond with my other channel so you know that I am the same person behind this channel as well. Kindly subscribe if you are a lover of craft and put on your notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I make an upload or a post on the community. size again is 2 by 32 so what i'm going to do next is to pan the fishing line through the next beam so i'm going to have the left on one and then the right on the other big i'm going to fold the weaved mat into two and put it around the plate I now have one end of the fishing line under the plate and the other up. So I will put the one under in any of the holes. So that is going to be hole one. I will put it through and bring it up. Then I will add one bead to it. For clarity's sake, let's name the fishing lines A and B. So the one that came from the bottom is fishing line a and that is the working thread so that is the only thread that i'll be using to add the bees i'll pass the working thread through the second bead and then pass it through the same hole that it came up from i'll then pass the same fishing line through the bead on its right don't be confused here. So I am passing it through that same bead on the right. Then I will go through the next hole. I will pass the fishing line B through the next bead on its right as well. 
I will then add a bead with the same line. How I wish I am sitting in front of you. I would have asked what you think I will be doing next. I will pass thread B through the next bead up and then thread A is going to pick one bead. I will put one bead through thread A and then pass it through the same hole that it came up from. I will pass thread A through the next bead and then pass it through the next hole. That is the third hole. I will pass it through and bring it up. From this point, it's going to be a repetition of the steps I have explained before. Please help me thank Adia Pena in the comment section. What she did for me that day, I was so much surprised. She spent so much time on me on phone so that I can understand and also come here to teach. My dear, we And since then, we've been friends. So the advantage of this technique is that you get a perfect finishing. You don't see where the fishing line entered the holes. So that rough work will be sealed. And the disadvantage is that because you are sealing, you are going to use more bees. I forgot to show you both sides look the same. So I'm going to weave around on any of the sides where I pointed. I'm going to start weaving there. I will go ahead to weave around the other half of the plate and when I am done, I will put it on top of the other half to complete the bag. I did not cut off the excess line. If you don't have that one, what you have to do is to cut a new line and then put one bead through and pass one end of the line through each of the halves of the plate and you add another bead to seal it from there you enter the bead on your left and on the right with the respective fishing lines and then you add another so that is how you are going to seal the whole bag so this is how the bag looks from inside fortunately for me and unfortunately for this project at the time of editing the bag had been bought so i this is all that i have to show you of this particular technique so over here i had wanted to see whether the genome is a sticker but i got to know that it had been embossed on the plate so this particular plate the inside is red i removed the sticker or the peel later on when i was working on the, the final project again this was my very first time using this technique but over time i make the chain just one it's not two by 32 i make it one by 32 and with that it's not confusing however let's go through with this approach the fishing line should be in one bead it should be as i have shown in the picture at the right hand side of your screen so i'm going to wrap the mat around the plate so one end of the line will be down and the other up so the one that will go through any of the holes and that will be hole one so when i pass it and bring it up i am going to add one bead i am using colorful beads here because of the 
colors of the mat i don't want it to be all white to confuse you that is why i am using the other colors when i am done i am going to pass the same fishing line through another bead which is the blue bead and then pass it through the same hole it came up from when i bring the fishing line down I am not going to enter the white bead here and that is why I am saying the mat should be one. I will go straight and enter the second hole. I will go ahead and pass the fishing line up, the fishing line B. I will pass it through the next bead on its right. Then I will add one bead by knotting. That is a peach bead. When I add the peach bead, I will pass the fishing line A through another bead which is the blue bead and go through the same hole it came up from. When I go down, I will not enter any bead down. I will go through the third hole. So that is how it is going to be. I know you have understood it so I'll be looking forward to your pictures on my whatsapp the number is going to be on the screen and also in the description area don't forget to also recommend other video ideas to me so when all is said and done I am going to lift the white bees up if it had been one I will just continue by weaving on top but because this was two so I had to lift it up and continue weaving so let's move on to what I did proper with the plate so I use these beads and this is the inner side of the plate it is red how I wish that the jinyame or the adinkra symbol is embossed on the red instead and this brings us to the end of our lesson today until i grace your screens with another tutorial my dear keep hope alive bye bye